some of the best rum recipes or really easy rum drink recipes. And I've got four easy rum cocktails just for you. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James, barprince.co. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make four easy rum cocktail recipes. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're looking for the best in bartending tips, bartending tricks, and bartending videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down here. And don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video whenever it comes out. Now, just because these are easy rum cocktail recipes, it doesn't mean there's still not some of the best rum recipes out there. What I mean by easy is, we're only gonna have one central alcoholic ingredient, which is of course rum, and the rest of the ingredients are gonna be really simple, stuff that you could probably find in your fridge or your pantry, and worst case scenario, it's just a quick trip to the grocery store to get what you need. Now to kick this video off, we're gonna be starting with two of the most popular rum recipes, and then the last two are gonna be lesser known, but still equally as good, and my recommendations as far as rums go, for the first two recipes, I would suggest a lighter bodied rum, a light rum, and then of course, for the last two, something darker, a little bit more full bodied, but at the end of the day, it's all about personal preference and the palate of whoever you're serving the cocktails to. Now, first up, we have the classic daiquiri recipe, and all you need for this easy rum cocktail is the following. Take your shaker with some ice, and go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lime juice, and two ounces of your rum. Now, just in case you don't have any simple syrup laying around the house, don't forget to check out this video right here. Please God, don't buy it. Super easy, it's sugar and water, rant over, back to the cocktail. Give it a nice good shake with ice, and then go ahead and double strain that into your glass, garnish it with a lime wheel, and you're all set to serve it to your guest. Next up, we have the classic mojito recipe, and this one takes a page out of the daiquiri's book with a couple slight modifications. Here's all you need for this one. Go ahead and grab your shaker and take four to six fresh mint leaves. Drop those in your shaker, go ahead and take a lime, quarter it and drop those in your shaker as well. Grab your muddler, give it a nice light press, just enough so that you can release the oils from the mint leaves as well as the juices and the oils from the lime without completely shredding the mint, which will give the cocktail more of a vegetal kind of flavor to it. Once you've gone ahead and done that, go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup and then two ounces of your rum. Put some ice in your shaker, go ahead and give that a nice good shake and then you're gonna go ahead and strain that into your glass with crushed ice. Once you've done that, top it off with about an ounce of sparkling water and go ahead and garnish it with a fresh sprig of mint. That's the mojito for you. Next up, we have the lesser known tea punch. Now the tea punch is a popular drink in, I believe it's the Island of Martinique, and it shares a lot of similarities with the old fashioned. If you want to see what I'm talking about, you can check out this video right here, right after you finish with this one, once we dive into it. The tea punch is a very spirit forward drink. So like I said at the beginning of the video, you want to use the kind of rum that has a little bit more full body, a little bit more characteristics than your average light rum. But here's what you're going to go ahead and do for your tea punch. Grab your rock glass and add a large cube of ice to it. Take two ounces of your rum and add it to your glass. Take about a bar spoon of simple syrup and then you're gonna cut a piece of lime and add about four to eight drops of lime juice. Take your spoon, go ahead and stir that for about 20 seconds, and you're all set with your tea punch. Like I said, similar to the old fashioned in a few ways, spirit forward cocktail for anybody who really enjoys the flavors and the aromas of a really nice rum. Finally, we have the dark and stormy. Now, full disclosure on this one, in order for it to be technically called a dark and stormy, you have to use Gosling's dark rum for that. If you're using another dark rum that's not Gosling's, then it's a safe harbor. Now, in this particular instance, I'm actually taking it a step further and I'm trying it with a spice rum, but no matter which variation you go with, it's a deliciously refreshing cocktail. All you do is grab your highball glass with some ice and go ahead and add four ounces of spicy ginger beer to that. Once you've done with that, Go ahead and float two ounces of your dark rum or your spice rum on top of it, and you're really all set. Go ahead and garnish that with a nice lime wedge. Your guests can use that lime wedge to season the cocktail to their particular palate, and that's really all you have to do with the dark and stormy. Simple, easy, delicious. You can't go wrong with this one. And those are your four easy rum cocktail recipes. Quick, simple, easy, something for everybody's palate. 
Now, if you're looking for products to help you upgrade your bar skills and take them to the next level, go ahead and head over to barprints.com. Check out our Mixology Mastery Program. I've laid out a completely comprehensive program that takes you from basic skills to advanced techniques, everything you need to know to master the art of the cocktail. If you found this video helpful, and I really hope you have, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, helps the channel out way more than you know. And for more bartending videos, tips and tricks, don't forget to check out these videos right here. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.